What's up guys, I'm Adrian 110 here <coughs> and uh, I am going to be, do going to be doing a uh, WTF is Gorilla Mode in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. This is a new Tom Clancy game which came out last month. Uh, very good game. I haven't got into the campaign much but it is quite a good game. But uh, I'm going to see what this is today, it's the spotlight of my video. Gorilla Mode. From what I've played of it, I've done like, I think I've done half the waves, there's 50 waves in total, and you get these maps. You get mansion, airstrip, office, shanty town, and then when you go and obtain your Uplay license, you get roof top, rooftops. I get tramway because I pre-ordered, well I didn't pre-order, I got the signature edition when I went to pick up the game, so that was pretty cool. Uh, let's see, airfield offices, shanty town, let's go for airstrip. Just gonna start from. I'll put it on recruit so I don't die. I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Or oh, wave four. Uh, with this, it's obviously it's like a basic survival game. Waves get harder, so the further you get through, obviously things like uh, little uh, light vehicles come through. I'm pressing the buttons; and it tells me what they do. So if you're like, oh, what does right bumper do? There we go. Yeah, campaign is very good. You not you still need to get five or so missions through into the, through the campaign to get the gist of like the the crouching. If you stay crouched long enough, you go cloaked because that's in this and to learn how to use the recon drone where you can tag people for your teammates to take them out. All in all, though, it's a great game. It really is. Right, here we go. Hostiles are falling back to regroup. Get resupply before they start the next attack. It's survival, but you have to protect this area here. You get an objective. Hang on, actually, I'll start. I'll start from the beginning, and uh, it'll be a lot easier for you guys to see how the how you actually start up the game, and uh, how you can prepare. And how Gorilla Mode starts up. Just move you up there. There we go. Yeah, so as you saw there, graphics in the game for that oh, two seconds. The graphics in the game are quite very well, quite very good for a uh, third person shooter. Launch. Restart. As with all games, it takes a while to start up, it takes about five seconds. But once you get into it, it's great. Obviously, as I said, press the buttons, see what they do. Back, start. From uh, I've played a bit of multiplayer. From what I've played of multiplayer, it's also a, a great game, actually. Multiplayer wise, uh, especially Siege, where everyone has one life and uh, you have to either defend or attack the objective, and when your whole team dies or you capture the objective, then you know you win or lose, and that's the same for each team. Uh, this game, the Gorilla Mode. I thought it was just going to be survival, but it turns out it's a bit more. It's survival Take and, the at the and try to keep it quiet. hold an objective. Wave one, you always are intended to do stealthily. That's what they want you. They want you to do this stealthily. Right. Let's see. You start off with a silence. Uh, Submachine gun and a pistol. That's the guy over there. What I tend to do here is switch to the drone. Notice it's thermal. Mark. Right bumper, you mark targets in the drone. It's very good if there's two of you or more. This is intended for four people, but you can just go around and mark the targets. For your team members. Oh crap, about to be spotted. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Where's the last. last guy? I've marked three and there's four hostels. There he is. And then you hold. recall the drone back.
was close. You can either do stealth shot or stealth kill. Stealth melee. Now he's going to turn around, isn't he? Stealth kill. Oh, there's a guy above me. I know that. I'll deal with him last. Let's come out here. Knife. He almost saw me. That was very close. He did see me. And now I have to protect this objective for 10 waves, and every 8 waves, a light jeep comes around with a 50 cal. Uh, every 5 waves, there, well, from wave 5 onwards, there are RPGs and snipers on high points like balconies, rooftops, and that. So the snipers will be in there, etc., etc. I think I could go over here. Up, up the ladder into the tower. Oh, I can't, but you have to obviously protect the objective, it's not just a standard survival. Every wave, these drop, and it just starts off with a sniper and assault rifle, but obviously the more waves and the harder waves you get into, the better weapons you get. This is grenades like claymores, incendiary, frag, sensor drone. Sensors are very good. Sensors, you throw it in an area and it shows you where the enemies are. And there is ammo, and this ammo box never moves. So, and on some maps, I don't know if it is with this one because there's no other real buildings, the uh, point always like changes every 10 waves. The objective point that you have to hold. Put one there. From what I've seen of this, it is. Oh, oh! I hit for out. Oh, I did something. Right, I'll show off the sensor. Right, so I know there's some guys over there. Let's just throw the sensor. All oh, right, that showed there's a guy down there. And obviously as well, the more players they are, the more enemies there are per wave. Like on this one, there's only five hostiles. Where the hell are they shooting me from? Ah, he's out there. Is there any more out there? Let's find out. Sensor. If you do this style with the sensors, always refill your sensors afterwards. Yeah, I'll say this now. I'm wanting to get all the waves done. So if you want to do the waves, like get the waves of... Gorilla mode done with me, I just want to play some multiplayer then you know what to do by now, my uh, gamer tag is on my channel as is an email address for the show, as you can see he ran to the HQ so it's lost in 18 seconds unless I get there oh bugger and kill the guy, there's one there So you need to really, if you're gonna, if you're gonna be one of these people who runs around outside killing the people, you're gonna have to have one guy at least to stay in the objective. But as I was saying, send an email to me if you want to play this to me with me. My gamer tag for a friend request or message is on my YouTube channel, and the email address for the show, for the show, for the channel, is uh, the imain2110 at gmail.com. All in lowercase. So when you do the smoke, that signals where the weapons are gonna be. Blue signals where the ammo's refill your ammo is gonna be. I got a wave streak there. Every wave you do, you complete, you get. Oh, excuse me. You get um, kill streaks. That one was a radar. So when I activate it for thirty seconds, all the enemies will be shown up. That could come in handy. I didn't take claymores, I don't think I need them. I'm going to use this single shot rifle for a bit. That's silenced. That's good because it's silenced so you can use it like in stealth killer people. Every 10 waves objective changes so every like wave 11, wave 21, wave 31, wave 41, they, because there's 50 waves in total, they are all stealth waves where you have to go and kill the people stealthy to get to the objective. 
uh, they that will come in handy there. So why is kill streak? Let's activate the radar. Right. Sure. Oh, almost got him. Right, so they're all out there. What you can do as well is you can check around, see if there's anyone coming close in, and then if they're all over there like they are. If you haven't got radar, you're going to have to use your sensors. Oh god, I'm being shot. Yeah, when that arrow comes up, you hold A and you cover swap nearly in the dark. There he is, see his head. Now my radar's run out, so I'm going to throw a sensor. I died because I should have run upstairs really uh, so that was a what is ghost recon uh, future soldier gorillas uh, ghost recon future soldiers gorilla mode we got there eventually uh, hopefully I am getting I should be getting Tom Clancy's end war anytime soon like it's meant to arrive today so uh, when I get that I will be posting a video on the voice commands because it's like an RTS where you can voice so your squad moves where you voice. Uh, thank you guys for watching as always comment like subscribe watch my uh, previous stuff and uh, remember if you want to play Ghost Recon with me my gamer tag and email address is on my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.